Yo, 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 life is a video game. Literally, that's that's what life is. a good spot. Once again, a good spot, then, then I'll be all right. <sighs> life is incredible. Life is amazing. Life is a video game. Yo, what's up, yo? Just wanted to drop by. And... I mean, honestly, I had no plans. I had no plans. I was just like, I just want to be able to give you all some love today. Enjoying this gorgeous weather right now. Hello? Wishing you all so much love and abundance. So much love and abundance. Wishing you all so much. So much love. I just need to tell you that today. Life is a video game. And you can literally ascend through this life in the most. You can create your own miracles. It's, it's quite amazing. <laughs> love life so much. Like. It's, it's about the simple things, really. You'll notice that through meditation. That's one thing you'll learn through meditation. It is It's really about the simple things, right? It's really about the simple things. Being out in nature. Just feeling the sun, you know what I'm saying? Like, feels so gorgeous. And it's... One of the most important things is to be grateful for all the little things. Like, gratitude is everything. Gratitude is one of the most important lessons, honestly. Like, I've been working on this post. I've been, I mean, I've been planning to make this one post about what I would tell myself if I can go uh, talk to myself at the age of 10. Then I would just tell myself, <clears throat> like, I would just tell myself, like, you know, meditation is one of the most powerful things that's going to ascend your consciousness. And once you do, you're going to love it <laughs> so much because you realize how life is a game, you know. I would also tell myself about astral projection, how that's a thing. All the knowledge that I know now lucid dreaming how it's literally literally interdimensional travel literally interdimensional travel i would have told myself this it's the it's the cheat codes to the video game it's the cheat codes to the video game if i could tell myself all this all what i know now i'm like it's, it's like every year I'm gaining, it's like a whole new level, right? It's like every age you gain, every year, it's like, I mean, it's up to you, really, how much work you're putting in to, for your mental health, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's just like, the more you can do that and get closer to empathy and love, you start learning the core lessons of all of life. It's just like, your heart explains all like the meanings of life just from your heart you know and it's like that's why meditation is one of the most imp most impressive things really it's literally like you're leveling up like every time there's an astral projection like a lucid dream and not even that it's all about the little things like just always learning like oh man like you know, always look at the positive side. You learn the lesson of everything. You learn, you learn the lesson of everything by just looking at the positive side. And it's like every every single time you do that, every single day, you are looking at the positive sides of something and growing because of that. You're leveling up every single day. Like your XP bar, like literally when you're leveling up your XP bar, your experience, right? This you're becoming a more powerful 
more powerful being, literally. That's what you are. Or well, level one versus level 99, right? In a video game, come on. What do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> I mean, it's not always that age. The age is not the indicator. There's many people who live on Earth and they, you know, they, they stay stuck and, and don't really evolve as much, very slowly. So don't think of that as the indicator, though. I'm just saying, like, when you're learning things on a whole spiritual level, you know what I mean, towards empathy and love, every time you're doing that, that grows, that, gro- that grows you so much, so much. If I can go back in time and tell myself something at the age of 10, if I was at the age of 10, I would tell myself all about the law of vibration, law of attraction, how we are all 30 to 40 trillions of cells always vibrating, vibrating at the speed of light, that our cells communicate at the speed of light, right? So I would have told myself this and that would have blew me away. Like Learning about the double slit experiment was really powerful. That was way later on in high school, though. But I would have tried to explain this. I would have tried to at least explain this. You know what I mean? Like how nothing is just one thing. Man, the sound of the trees is so amazing. Oh, my God. Do you hear that? That squeaking? It's amazing. Just so in love with nature, really. So in love with nature. So who I am, yo. You guys, the life, everyone in the live streams, you get to see way more. You know, way more of me like, than just a post. So I appreciate you all so much for joining and being with being here with me. What's the deal with being positive and things still going south? Even if you're still staying positive, life is a wave. That's what I learned. That's what one of the most important things that I've learned is that thank you so much, Trippy Damien. Appreciate you as well. Just because you're positive doesn't mean everything's gonna go perfect. That's not because life is not that's not how life works, right? You can't go I mean, yeah, you are God, but you can't go God mode in physical life. Like you can do the best you can. You know what I'm saying? But you'll never you'll never in physical life, have everything go perfect because that's that's not what life is. Life is about testing you. That's why you got obstacles. That's why you have days where you don't feel the best. You know, I felt that. And that's okay. That's what life's all about. That's why it's all about the obstacles. That's what my whole song, Into the Flames, my whole album, Into the Flames, is about. It's all about the obstacles in life. You know, even if you go through depression, right? This this is just this is just experience that you're growing, and that's what life is about: evolving as a consciousness, evolving as a consciousness. Because the universe is like the universe is one, but it got split up into all these different things that they think that they're the individual selves, but they're really not. They're all part of one, but. It's just this universe that split up is doing this because it wants to learn more about itself. That's what is basically how I can explain what the whole universe and consciousness is. It's like, that's the best that I could do. Of course, I'll never understand. And no human will ever understand the full extent because we're third dimensional beings. We're just third dimensional beings. We're these animals. Yeah, we're, we're souls in a physical body, but... But when we're anchored into this third dimension, we, we can't see, like, the 16th dimension. It's, it's, almost, it's, like, incomprehensible for the vibration, you know. So, thank you so much, Ryan Dalton420. A much love and respect for Ryan Dalton, Como, Indiana. What's good, man? Appreciate you. Much love to you, bro. Much love. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, man. Nombri Samuel says, so what's the end goal of the elites? And that's the thing in the video game, right? The video game of life, there's going to be an antagonist, 
right? There's gonna be an antagonist. So who's the antagonist? It's like, I, I dislike saying the word elite so much though. That's the thing. Thank you so much, Ryan Dalton. Love you, man. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it so much. Grateful, so grateful. It's like in a video game, there's going to be a protagonist. So it's going to be the lead. But I hate that word. We need to think of another word. We need to think of another word for them. Seriously. What's good, Mystical Misty? What's up? We need to think of another word for them. Seriously. Because how are they the elites, right? How are they the elite when they have not good intentions, you know what I'm saying? Good and bad is also, you have to remember, it's relative, right? It's a third dimensional construct, good and bad. So that's not a thing, really, actually. Be the rapper, what is good? What's up? Kathy O'Connell, hey, what's up? 888, what is good? Uh, Ryan Dalton, I believe aliens are fallen angels. And so, that's the thing, like aliens, like, there is no just good aliens, there's no just bad aliens, that's not a thing. Everything is multi-dimensional. Everything is multi-dimensional. There's good ones and there's bad ones. You know, you can't just say that they're all bad. It doesn't work that way. We should be known as the elite. Exactly. Mystical Misty. We are the elites, right? The ones who are towards the force of love. This is the life force, baby. Peace. Oh, please. Keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. We the ones for the light. The love. That's what we are, the life force, baby. Exactly, that's why, that's why we should be called the lead. But that's the thing, fuck that at the same time. Because now we're calling ourselves the elite and now there's a whole imbalance, right? Now we're saying we're better. You, can, I get it, we're for the light, we're for the love. You're never better than anyone. That is an ego trap. That is an ego trap right there so we don't call them the elite and we are not the elite either we just the life force we spend love and light into the world you know inspiring accelerating the shift in consciousness that is what we are doing baby that's the life force for you that's my spiritual community my spiritual movement the life force you can join the discord link in bio just so you know we are, Be The Rapper says, we are the aliens in human bodies. We just forgot. What's up, Al? El Shu Chapin. Oh, Cole Chapin. We are the aliens, exactly. Because you really think, like, we're all from this earth? Like, no. Like, no. We're all, we are from different places in the galaxy. The, the universe is huge. It's, there's trillions and trillions and trillions quadrillion billion galaxies like you you will never know you'll never know and to think that we all just came from earth our souls that doesn't make sense if you could look try to look at it that way as well dolores cannon she does quantum hypnosis she she is able to hypnotize someone and speak with i'm not sure if it's the subconscious or the oversoul, or super conscious. It's along those lines. I think it's not subconscious so much, maybe. But she was able to hypnotize all of these people, right? So many people. And she found out that we have a lot of humans here on Earth that are actually from many different places in the universe, right? Many different places in the universe. And she found out that Earth actually gave out a warning call. That Earth gave out a warning call. I think it was around the 90s, 90s or something like that. I can't remember exactly the date. But apparently Earth is, Can you not believe it? That Earth is a consciousness in itself? 
it has a toroidal it has a toroidal field around it us humans have a toroidal flow around us too you know what i'm saying toroidal flow basically looks like a donut that's the toroidal flow right man i'm just thinking right now something so deep and i just oh man i i can't even i don't even want to say that right, cuz <laughs> I gotta think this shit through. So I just be getting these downloads for real. Like, oh my god, our consciousness is a radio receiver, a radio receiver. And so that's why it's it's said that we download. We're downloading literally all of our thoughts. You know. So I just. Life is absolutely incredible. That let's just let's just not forget that. Life is absolutely incredible. It is such a blessing honestly to be alive. You guys can never forget that. We can yeah, we are the avatars just receiving the information. Just like the double slit experiment shows us, right? Quantum superpositioning shows us this, that you can be in two places at once. And you know what's the most amazing thing like I'm finding out is like so I've been reading the autobiography of a yogi. And this book is absolutely mind-blowing. I am like on page uh 70 maybe, maybe a little less, and this book has been just telling all these amazing stories of these gurus, these yogis, masters who can literally split apart their consciousness, create a hologram for someone basically to see, and they can be in multiple places at once. Crazy. Levitation. Be the rapper. Thank you so much, bro. We spread the light out here. I love what you do as well. You got some amazing spiritual rap, dude. Be the rapper, as you see here in the chat. Make some awesome spiritual music as well. Thank you so much. See you later, Ryan Dalton420. Thank you so much. Have an amazing rest of your day. Timmy the Hunter says, They are the wicked, the blockers of good intentions, the suppressors of knowledge and wisdom. Oh, she. Oh, she. Timmy the Hunter says, this he's calling the elite this right we talked about the elite earlier but he says they are the wicked the blockers of good intentions the suppressors of knowledge and wisdom right we talked about good and bad and if there's no good and bad man i mean they do some yeah they yes they do some wicked stuff but it's crazy when you're just t- trying to think of this on a higher, you know what I'm saying? Like, on a different level, underneath everything, it's all energy. All energy, all is one. And, dude, I think it's messed up as fuck, you know? That they're trying to do these kinds of things. Suppress the knowledge. You know, they people get blocked. People, you know, get hurt. Who speak out about this kind of stuff. Stuff that's going to help consciousness ascend. It's... It's terrible, right? But it's like, if life is a video game, you know, or is, is, it all, is it possible that there's always supposed to be an antagonist? And they're just playing the roles? I heard about something like this. There was a insider uh, who came out and he was speaking about, you know, uh, I think he was from one of the... Like secret societies or some shit like that, you know. They're evil as fuck. But, like, there's this insider who came out. And he was basically saying, like, they, they got to do this. It's, like, a part of, it's a part of nature or something like that. And he said it's actually for the good of humanity or something like that. I, I don't remember the exact thing, but you could, you could look it up. You know what I'm saying? Look it up on Google, that kind of search. You know, insiders speaking out. Oh, man, I'm going to have to really find this. And I'm going to put this in my Discord. Once I find this, I got to remember. Uh, yeah, so, 
yeah, if you want to remember that too, <laughs> look into that more. If you can't find it, some check maybe check the Discord later. Okay, check the Discord later. I'm gonna try to post the the video about this because that was very interesting to think about, and you know, really makes me think. It really makes me think, like you know, the, just playing like the antagonist role, and yeah, man, like there's a lot of things going on that, man, it's like, I don't even want to put energy towards it, you know, I'll speak, it's like, I want the awareness there, but I don't even want to speak about it, you know, Aaron Dowdy was just speaking, speaking about how, I was just watching the video, he's speaking about how you don't want to put any energy towards it, because you're giving them momentum, right, it's like a pendulum, he was explaining, something like that, and it's swaying, and the more energy you give to it, the more... It's uh, giving giving them energy, you know what I mean? So it's like, man, like, I want you all to be so aware of this stuff, you know? Yesterday on my live stream, I went all out. If you were on my live stream yesterday, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's why, that, again, life is a wave, right? Life is a wave. Always learning, always learning. And that's why it's like one day you go all out on something, the next day you might feel like, oh my God. You know, I didn't feel the best today, honestly, today. Uh, I, you know, out of all my d days recently, like, today was not, like, the best. You know what I'm saying? Chimna, hi. <laughs> the world is a crazy place. I died having my baby. Whoa. The world is a crazy place, Chinita, Chucky says. And I saw so much crazy shit about how the world works. You died having your baby. I'm conf so confused because you're alive here. <laughs> what am I missing? The world is a crazy place. But, yeah, it's like how much energy. Like, that's why I love. Uh, yes, Pagey Smile. Without the downs, you can't feel the highest. It's crazy. Alex Kling, what's good, bro? What's good? What's good, yo? Without the downs, you can't feel the highest, Pagey Smile says. It's like that. It's, just, it's really like that. It's like life is a wave. And as much as you really want it to feel 100% all of the time, right? You want everything to go right. You want everything. You, so you can stay as positive as, you, positive as you can. But it's like life is a wave. Life is going to test you. Life is going to give you all the twists and turns. And it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's all about how much you can maintain it almost like. Your high vibration, because ultimately you're not supposed to give up on life. And I believe it's our duty almost like to, it's like our duty to find our highest vibration, go towards our highest self and to get self-actualized. You know what self-actualized is? Becoming almost like in union with your higher self. Thank you, Alex Kling says, can't wait for your new song. It's gonna, it's gonna come out soon, bro. Coming out soon, bro. I'm working on the visualizer for it right now. I'm working on the visualizer. I got my buddy to work on the visualizer. This song is gonna be really about the law of attraction, the law of vibration. It's, this song is all about that. It's all about woke don't mean broke at the same time, right? Woke don't mean broke. It's all about that concept. And striving towards your highest self at the same time. Striving towards your higher self. That's what my next song is going to be about. Okay. <laughs> nothing can keep, Paige Smile says, nothing can keep to 100% when you feel low. Be grateful, realize the lesson, and move on. Yes, exactly. And we're, we're, we're going to be talking about this so much in the zoom call on sunday at 12 p.m eastern time if anyone wants to be on the zoom call we're going to be talking about the dark night of the soul so if anyone wants to join the zoom call with me and the rest of the team the life force we're going to be talking about this the dark night of the soul on sunday 12 p.m eastern time dm me message me if you want to be a part of that join the discord you can join on my patreon as well
And yes, that's exactly what it's all. What's the time difference in UK? Oh man, I don't even know. It's Eastern time to UK time. I'm not sure. Honestly, it might be like six or seven hours, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's like today it was like during the day I didn't feel like the the best that I've been feeling. Like yesterday I was like I was feeling like a hundred percent. It was like yesterday just felt you know absolutely I was just naturally feeling super high vibrational, naturally just feeling like I'm my highest self. And and uh in the in what would be called the goal of you know life <laughs> feeling that you know manifesting it you know what i'm saying like felt that like i was there new whole new reality at the same time i was being one so yesterday was absolutely amazing but then today it's like i don't know felt a little thrown off a little bit <laughs> thrown off a little bit but it's always so amazing to be able to speak with all of you and it's that's the thing that I found is just gratitude is the thing that helps you one of the in the most powerful ways because it's this complete appreciation gratitude is a super high frequency gratitude is super high vibrational frequency right that's why if you can't maintain these states for long periods of time because you've done affirmations changing your subconscious that's why you can manifest things that's why you can bring things into existence it's this power of focus people can literally focus because of the people people can literally levitate because of this kind of focus right learning to be one learning to be one with the universe i think it's so amazing so incredible people are levitating these i was reading the autobiography of a yogi they they can literally create like another version of themselves like a real human being but i guess it's like a hologram how it's explained people think they see the actual person but he's actually somewhere else at the same time yeah so i've been really loving this book i feel like it's something i just needed spiritually like to learn just about this book you know that's why reading is so important i feel like because it helps just reading is it's different than just watching something on tv because you're literally creating it out of your all the images and you know the whole experience in in your mind's eye your third eye your first eye literally seeing everything through your first eye your whole book Reading helps open up your mind to creativity. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> yeah, feeling drained should not happen. But that's the thing. It just, it just, it, you, that's why life is a wave. Because you're not always going to feel 100%, as I was saying. Like, that's just not, I just don't think, you know, that you're always going to be tested. You're always going to be tested. But it's incredible. Because there are, there are, there have been some people who've maintained, I got to do more research on this, but, but it's like they, they were able to maintain so many positive thoughts, I guess, for so many years and they, they become this like rainbow body and they just transcend this dimension and move on from 3D. Like, I feel like anything is possible. I feel like anything is possible, seriously. Like, like, not everything is so obvious. It's obvious. That's why this is my name. It's what you learn and take from the test. That's what matters the most. Yes, exactly. That's it, exactly. Oh, it's 8.30 p.m. Did you say that? I feel like 8.39 here now. Let's see what time it is right here now. 4:43. It's 4:43 right here now. So I guess that's a four-hour difference. So you're four hours ahead. Oh, so that for that for you it'd be four. 
it'd be 4 p.m. when we're having the meeting on Sunday. Yeah. What's up, Clayton J93? What's up, Anna Nichols? What's up? Adrian uh, says, do you know anything about Twin Flames? Twin Flames is like, your, it's like your other self, like just like almost like another version of you, basically. And it, it's like a soulmate. I don't, I don't remember ex the exact difference between the soulmate and the Twin Flame, but it's like along the same lines. And I, I really feel like I manifested mine. You know, my girlfriend, I feel like she is my soulmate, like, my twin flame. Like, she's literally, an, like, almost, like, another version of me. It's, like, obviously, we're different in many ways, but at, on the same, you know, we're still, like, so much on the same frequency. Hey. So, yeah. I'm walking in the sun and the woods. You should be charging and releasing constantly, to me, the hunter says. Yeah, I mean, being in the sun is helping so much, tremendously. I've been inside, like, all day. Finally just came outside. And just, I'm just loving it, being out here in nature. It's so beautiful. Just, if you're, if you're ever feeling like, you know, <laughs> sub Neo outli outline says, <laughs> what's up, yo? <clears throat> if you're not feeling, if you're ever, like, not feeling like, you're the, you know, feeling in a good, you know, good vibration, good mental place. Highly recommend go just go out into nature. Go out into nature. We are nature beings, but we but we work in these boxes, right? We live in these boxes, you know. When sun is literally our main thing, that's our main source of energy. From I am from PA, Clayton. Just saying there is aliens because Adrian Dak Mountains. How's it going? Saying there's aliens in Adrian Dak Mountains in my in New York. Just had to say that because my man and I experienced. Oh wow! What well, would you guys ex you uh you guys saw aliens or did you see like a UFO and? Greatness 101 asks, how do you activate your kundalini? Apparently, you, you should be really careful with your kundalini. But uh, the main thing about... Because some people aren't ready. They're not, they're not in, a, in a state of consciousness where they can... Because there's, so there's so many indoctrinations that people have religions and they think there's something scary. Like the devil. Oh, snake. Oh, my God. Oh, hello, Snake. Yeah, check it out. Yo, what's up, dude? What's up, bud? I'm just going to walk around you. Have a nice rest of your day. Wishing you so much love and abundance. Wishing you the best life ever, Snake. I'm wishing you the best life ever. I hope you kill it out there, you know, <laughs> live your best life, get self-actualized, and, and I hope you reach your highest self, and I wonder who you're going to be in another life. Maybe we'll get to meet someday, snaky. <laughs> See you later, buddy. I even tell that kind of stuff to to bugs, little insects, because like all is one, yo, all is one. Do I have a filter on or something? What the heck? Oh, I got a filter on. Oh my god. Oh, uh, should I do it? Should I keep the filter? It looks kind of nice. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Clayton says. Oh, we about to reach a bad connection spot. Clayton J says, "Thank you for this. I need a reset." My life is kind of chaotical, which watch more of your videos. Hey, appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. You rock. Life can get chaotic. Life can get crazy. You can feel up. You can feel down. Right? 
but there's so many things that we can do every single day to get to the upper upper spiral of our of our vibration, right? If you, I need. A, I've been meaning to post this so so much. There's the spiral, and it shows you the spiral of emotions and vibrations. You know, upward spiral is feelings. Upward spiral is the higher frequency vibrations that you can feel. And along those lines is gratitude, inspiration, creativity, love, you know, feeling bliss from feeling one, from feeling one and and connected with yourself. You can do things every single day that's going to get you up in the higher vibrational spiral, right? Eating good, eating healthy, treating your body like the luxury car that it basically is treat your car like a luxury car you know what i'm saying give it the fuel it needs give it the fuel it needs if you're a lamborghini your body's a lamborghini then why are you gonna don't don't give it don't give it dirt give it fuel give it nice give it that premium fuel it's that's what you got to treat your body like every single day. You can do things like working out, especially, you know, working out and then clearing yourself mentally, going out into nature, feeling, reminding yourself of gratitude every single day, reminding yourself of gratitude every single day. One of the most important things you can do to feel better every single day. Look, oh my God. Oh, loving. I just, when you go out into the sun, you just feel so incredible. You feel like the God that you are. And if you're.